Hello, my name is Mark with Scared Ship of SoCal, California. And what we have here is a very unique part of a 1957 Brougham. This is the airbag assembly, what most people call it, but it's actually an air dome. There's a few tricks to this, like putting these little rings in. What happens is this ring actually holds this in so the bag doesn't actually slide up and down in there when there's less pressure. It's not a factory item. It's, after, it's actually something that they came up with after the fact, which is a great help. Let me show you a detailed look at that part in our air dome assembly. So what we have here is our air diaphragm that actually sets into our air dome. And here's our ring that we actually weld inside our air dome. Without this ring, the bag, when it deflates, or the diaphragm can move up and down, creating a poor seal, and that'll let your car go down to the ground. So let's take a, a little close-up of the air dome itself. So this is actually our air dome. And here's the ring that we install. So when we put our bag inside there, the lip will actually catch here, creating a better seal here and it won't let the bag fall in there. We want to make sure that all this is actually really, really clean. There's no pits. If you have pits, you're going to have to fill those by either welding them or by, uh, you can use some filler in there. Let's take a picture. Let's take a look at a, a bad air dome. So right here, there's a bunch of rust pits, and this actually happens to be our ceiling area. So the air can actually flow through these pits and create a problem. We actually have extra parts, so we just use the best ones we have. So this part right here, Right, this right here goes into our lower A-arm on a little like a carriage bolt, it looks like. And it actually makes the car go up and down. And it's held in with this retainer ring right here. You have to get that down and then spin it around. And it's a booger to get in there. And then you take this whole assembly and install it into the air dome. So after we have our retaining ring on, for our piston. There's another item here. It's a gasket. This is not factory either. But what happens is it creates another seal to ensure that we don't have any leaks in our air dome. We'll actually install this ring and we'll clamp this whole thing together. Some of the things that we do to make this airbag not leak or air dome not leak is we'll actually glue in place this gasket so it doesn't shift or move. As we tighten the bolts, it tends to split and tear. Also, in our air diaphragm here, we'll actually glue that up. When we glue this up and we go to tighten all this stuff up, we only have about 20 minutes before the glue starts drying, so we got to act quick on that. So here's a close-up look at how the air dome looks when it's completely assembled except for the bolts that we haven't tightened up yet. So there's a close-up of our air dome for our front suspension. With these little tricks, if you have one of these cars, it can ensure that you don't have any air leaks also. My name is Mark with Scare Shiftless and I want to thank you for watching.